Hello everybody, today I will uh, make a very quick update how to, how to say, to, to reduce your losses, your DB losses on, on the connectors. So basically this is Rack Miner V2. There is a lot of videos out there but just for Bobcat, but for Rack Miner I didn't find, so I thought I will share my experience with you that sorry for the patch this is all IQ card RQ codes I try to hide them safe but I'm then sorry so rack miner v2 it comes like this you have a four screws on top remove the four screws yeah and in the sideways there is the antenna there is here the black rubbers four black rubbers remove one of them yeah, cut it in the middle, create, so I try to focus here, cut him in the middle to let the cable cross here, if you can see, he cross between and he kind of bite on it and not let him to slide out. And I reinforce it with duct tape, strong duct tape, this, this and this will be removed, I will look leave it without them this is just for the video demonstration basically here there is ipx connector this is the black one he come from here to rpsma i remove it i duct tape it to not make shortage anything and i use ipx with a little bit longer i will buy a little bit shorter in the future but unfortunately I didn't find out shorter cable and this directly it will hook directly to my antenna so this is try to reduce my setup I have my antenna next to my miner I have outdoor enclosure as you can see here I will remove this one and there is a lot of modification but the point is try always try to reduce to reduce uh, your the length of the cable and reduce how many times you must to connect connector adapters this kind of things they will reduce you 0.5 1 db for every connector you will lose 0 0.5 db and which is a lot and it's a lot of db loss and this is not this is not good for you and not you are paying expensive device and you need to get the best of it and this is one of the way how to get the best of it kind of it work as a how to pimp your your miner how to boost your power by reducing the losses as i said four screws remove it don't be scared to adjust this stuff a lot of people they have problems because the ipx it will be loose here or it will be off and he don't know i saw this video yesterday when he had the bobcat or nebra miner and his cable was ipx cable was off and he never figured out and he stayed like three months what a patient person he stood three months without opening his miner to check in the end he find out the problem was the ipx was loose from the factory they not connected very well so try to be gentle choose your finger to be careful pack remove it duct tape it or remove it completely me i just duct tape it and i put it on the sideways to not shorter anything be sure to duct tape him if you really want to leave him inside and the rubber from this side open it slice it not 100% slice it a little bit with something sharp slice it and put the cable between this and push the rubber sorry for the focus I'm using my phone yeah and here we go inside make sure to use like this strong adhesive cable to be sure that he will be strong to catch Another one here to catch, just to be sure that your cable will be. Please guys, be careful from the static electricity. Before you use your device, try to touch some metal, 
or use a bracelet or use your grounding. For my situation, I have uh, the heater in the home. You have the copper pipe not covered. So I always before I touch my devices, I go to touch basically my grounded heat heat. How to call it? The source of the heat. I will show you to be easy for you guys. Sorry for the mess. This is grounded pipelines, pipelines for them for my heater. So I always make sure to touch it to remove any static electricity from my hand. Unlike this, when I touch my electronic stuff, to not damage them. And <laughs> lucky for me, my daughter room have rubber. This is help with the static electricity to not collect it. Sorry for the mess, I just try to be more clear as possible. I hope you get it. Four screws, remove them, don't be scared. Remove the APX gentle with your finger, but first things you must to be, you touch the ground. And then remove it gentle with your finger and put the short cable. This here will go directly to my antenna, antenna have special connector. That's not... This is just for testing reasons. I will change it with the other one I ordered on Amazon. The same principle, just here we have how to call it N type. N type female. Basically, like this one N type female. So, IPX to N type female. Not like this IPSMA N type female and too much. This is just to test it with the small antenna and connect it to see how much I reduce dB and it seems it works so I see a lot of videos they share about Bobcat and Nebra nobody I see in my opinion nobody share about WAC V2 so I want to tell you guys don't scare to do it and here nah, before I forget when you want to plug it you need to kind of use some force to plug it but don't be scared just Try to know what you are doing, try to make it symmetric and push it down very well. And I hope everything will work well for you. As a disclaimer, use this and your own risk. I experiment my stuff. This is my things, I experiment with them. This is my pleasure, my hobby helium. You can do this by yourself, you can copy me and do it by yourself but it's on your own risk if you don't feel comfortable to do it don't do it if you feel comfortable and you mess with electronics before you probably already did it so see you in future videos about outdoor enclosures on a lot of fun fun stuff see you in the next project bye